this demonstration, we will show SharePoint 2010 Central Administration, its new user interface, and the enhancements that have been made to make the administrator's task easier and more readily available. To begin, we are on the server desktop, and we are going to open Central Administration by clicking on Start, All Programs, Microsoft SharePoint 2010 Products, and SharePoint 2010 Central Administration. After a moment, this will open in our browser, and we will be taken to the new central administration. Here you can immediately see the new interface and the first enhancement to be made is that the addition of content categories. Content categories are the various tasks that a SharePoint administrator may need to do broken up into logical buckets so that they're easier to discover. There are eight of these out of the box. You have application management, system settings, monitoring, Backup and Restore, Security, Upgrade and Migration, General Application Settings, and Configuration Wizards. You can click on any of these various links to be taken to the content categories that's information and the different links that are available from here. So here on System Settings, you can see I have Managed Servers and Farms, Managed Services on Servers, etc., broken down into three different buckets within this bucket. Additionally, if we go to Application Management, we'll see that there are several options available from this page. If we navigate back to the home page of Central Administration, we can see that also these content categories have been bubbled up to the home page of Central Administration, and along with the category being bubbled up, some of the key links that you may need to follow from that category have also been pushed to the forefront. If we scroll down the page, we can see that all eight of the different sections are here. Maybe the first one we'd like to look at is a common one for administrators, Manage Web Applications. By clicking on the Manage Web Applications link, we are brought to the Manage Web Applications screen, and from this screen we can see that another major enhancement of the SharePoint 2010 user interface has been exposed. That is the ribbon or Fluent UI. The ribbon allows us to quickly expose the various tasks that are related to a particular page or object on that page. If you notice right now, most of the links and buttons are grayed out on the page. So if we were to hover over New, we would see that it would light up because that option is currently available to us. But if we were to hover over General Settings, we'd see the description for General Settings, but we'd also see the little yellow warning triangle that says this control is currently disabled and it gives you some suggested reasons why that may be. In this case, the reason is we have not selected a web application in order to enact these buttons on. So to do that, in the bottom, we will go down to SharePoint Portal, Contoso.com, on port 80, and click on the web application. Now that we have chosen a specific web application, we have the capabilities of going in, and if we hover over General Settings, now we have the ability to click the button, or if we hit General Settings, we can see another feature of the ribbon, and that is the ability to click the drop-down arrow, which will show us some additional options for General Settings. Here you can see the six additional options available. So while General Settings, general settings may be the most prevalent, that's what the button would take us to if we just clicked it, but some of these other lesser-used features are just a single drop-down away from being accessed. Exposing all the links and the characteristics of the uh, UI to the administrator without overwhelming them with too much information at once. If we were to now return to the home page of Central Administration by clicking the link in the Quick Launch bar, we can see another key benefit of SharePoint Central Administration is that the UI has been uh, enhanced to bubble up important messages for us. In this example, the SharePoint Health Analyzer also called the SharePoint Best Practice uh, Analyzer, has detected some critical issues that require our attention. So that has been brought to the forefront with this nice red bar, and there is a very convenient link for viewing these issues. So as an administrator, I click on the links, and I can now see the two different events that have taken place that have tripped the SharePoint Best Practice tool and needs my attention. Returning back to the home page. So that's another example of the SharePoint administrator's job being easier because the information that they needed to know was pushed to the forefront and conveniently had a link to get there. Also, you'll notice that SharePoint Central Administration is just a SharePoint content web application like the rest. 
So all the normal page editing functions that you'd expect on a SharePoint page with web parts and such are available. So here on the page, I can edit page and modify my web parts. Switch back to the browse view. I can also add a new link. I could create lists and libraries if necessary. And of course, I have the ability to do the I like it, the tags and notes. And if I hit the site actions drop down, we can see that just like a normal SharePoint content web app, we have all these various options such as view all site content. So this has been an overview of the various uh, enhancements to the SharePoint central administration user interface and how they can facilitate an administrator doing their job more efficiently and to quickly expose the error messages allowing them to be proactive instead of as reactive in the past.